The trumpeter swan disappeared from Iowa back in 1883 due to wetland drainage, other habitat loss, and market hunting. So in the early 1990s, the Iowa DNR came up with a plan to restore the swan population throughout Iowa. The restoration program began in 1994 with the first release in 95, and since then over 1,100 trumpeter swans similar to the signets produced here at the Brank Park Zoo have been released in the wild. Blank Park Zoo became involved in the program and hosts a pair of trumpeter swans that live at the zoo. Their offspring are given to the Iowa DNR and are released at wetland sites throughout the state. Swans that have been released from Blank Park Zoo have not only been spotted around Iowa, but also 17 other states and Canada. But swans are doing very well, especially in the northern part of the state. Currently, there are 47 nesting pairs and over 700 swans spotted in Iowa this past winter. And the Iowa DNR is working to restore the swan to southern Iowa. Problems still remain, however. Trumpeter swans have died due to collisions with power lines, and 21 swans have been illegally shot in the state. One thing people really can do is to support the wetlands, the habitat. Wetlands not only provide a better home for animals, but also improve water quality and allow for better flood control. Wetlands act like nature's kidneys, helping remove pollutants from the water. So improving wetlands is beneficial to all Iowans. There's over 25 zoos that have cooperated across the United States. Uh, the signets they produce are released and help restore the wild population out there. So I really like to thank their role in restoring these birds to the wild. It's really quite impressive.